Today I'm going to show you how to configure the LMS and what we're going to do now is add these to the project. When you first see the screen we started SOPAS and connected on Ethernet and it's showing me the IP range 192.168.0.108 that's what this LMS happens to be. When I click add it might be that it doesn't automatically connect to the device. So what I like to do is use direct connection. So use internet protocol and type in here 108. You can see I already did it, but still I'll do it once again. And then this will automatically add the device to the project. You can see it's gone up into the left hand side. First thing I'm going to do is log into the device. So we use the authorized client and the password is client. And the first thing we need to do is to put in a field. So if I click on field, I'm going to add a new field type. We can call it any name here. We'll call it my field. And I'm going to put in a rectangular field. It could be a segmented one, which means clicking in random positions. But a segmented one is a little bit easier. And before I put in the field, I'm going to show the scan line and centralize it. You can see this range here goes out to 60 meters, but we're in a small room. So if I click on this icon here, it'll show me the scan line of the outside of my room. You'll see my hand. If I put my hand in front of the scanner, you can see we're actually quite close. So now I want to edit my field points. So if I edit the field points, I click on this one to drop it down. This one to move it in closer to the scanner. This left hand one here can move it around. And if I click on the round one here, we can set it off at an odd angle. Once I'm happy with my field, I can click Finish. And now I want to do something with the field. So we're going to put in an evaluation case. And we could call this one My Case, or anything of course. I'm going to look for the field name, and it's called My Field. And we need to decide, uh, decide on our evaluation strategy. And blanking means it will ignore a certain size object. So if I want to pick up somebody's leg, for example, I would need a small blanking size. So let's suppose we put in 50 millimeters, for example. And a 500 millisecond or half a second response time means it will ignore small birds flying through it. And we now need to decide which output we're going to use. Output 1 through to 6. Output 1 and 2 should always be used as the fail-safe outputs. OK, so now we have a field and an evaluation case. If we now go to monitor, I can go to the field evaluation monitor. I'm just going to make the screen a little larger so we can see it clearly. I'm going to click on the scan line and once again on this centralize icon here. And now you can see here I can either monitor the evaluation case or the output. I'm just going to reset these outputs here. And if I put my hand into the field, you can see when it's not breaking the field I've set, nothing happens. However, when I go into the field, it sets the alarm. And you can see output 1 has come on. It could be that output 1 is going in the opposite sense to the way that you want it. Or maybe even you've not been able to set a field into the unit just yet. But what you can actually do is to adjust the digital outputs and test your system beforehand. Quite simply, if you've got a relay connected to output 1 and you want to see it change state, you just need to do that. And that will change the way that the state of the relay and the state of the output. So a quick way to test your outputs before you've even put in a field to the device. So we can make them active high or active low. And you can see here we've got output 1 working as the application, same with output 2. Output 3, if we want, we can have this one to tell us if there's contamination on the uh, exit window, for example. And that's pretty much it. If we want to put in an additional field, we can add once again a new field and go through the same way I did before. Or if we want a similar field, we can highlight that one and we can copy the field. So that's given a, a copy of my field, which we can now go and edit. I can go through now. Once again, I'd like to show the scan line, centralize it, 
I'm going to edit the field points so I can put in a new field maybe in a different position and if I want to see the other field that I previously had in if I click on this box here I can show my other field so now you can see the first field that we put in and then the second one that I've just done and once again I can now go to the evaluation case and the speed I can just copy it and then I can edit my new evaluation case it'll keep all the things the same the blanking size the response time and so on but we might want to change that to output 2 for example and when we finish doing this the final thing to do is to save it permanent in the device and that's it as simple as that very easy to set up now we have two fields and you'll notice that if I infringe the one field if you look down at the bottom left side of the screen we'll operate field 1 and field 2 so you can see these change state here one final point is the connectivity and because we can actually supply our own external voltage to the outputs that means we have to provide 24 volts to the unit and that goes in on pin 1 here you can see so if you're using the same supply as the LMS main control supply comes from just put a loop from the supply to the LMS through into pin 1 here and then output 1 and output 2 go off to your host and obviously using ground as the um, volts. So it's as simple as that but it's important to remember to connect this to the 24 volt supply to the unit otherwise there'll be no outputs for output 1.